I ask unanimous consent to submit for the record this resolution by the voice of the Arctic Inuipat and signed by the Inuipat community of the Arctic Slope, the Arctic Slope Regional Corporation, and the North Slope Borough opposing the MPRA role citing the lack of engagement by the department. Without objection? Okay. The chair now recognizes uh, the gentlelady from California, Ms. Napolitano, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ms. Secretary, welcome again. And first of all, let me uh, state that I uh, as associate my remarks with Ms. Uh, Ocasio-Cortez. I believe you're doing your best. Madam Secretary, the department is working to implement the funding we secured under the infrastructure law for large-scale water projects but one investment is frankly not enough. It must be continuous funding to grow, construct, maintain, and operate more facilities. That is why I am proud to have introduced large scale water recycling Re reauthorization and investment act to reauthorize funding for water recycling and reuse projects in the West. It's imperative we work to address the climate change, not to protect our water supplies and increase the presence of regional large, -wise, large scale water projects for the benefit of the future uh, uh, U.S. climate change. Secretary Helen, could you speak how the department is prioritizing water recycling under fiscal 25 budget? Thank you very much, uh, Congresswoman. And um, again, I, I want to say how happy we were to be in your district and appreciate you hosting us when we visited there. Um, so uh, as you know, uh, last fall we launched a new large-scale water recycling program and made initial funding from Bill available to incentivize projects at a larger scale aimed at creating new water supplies that are less vulnerable to drought and climate change. Um, with respect to funding details, the FY 2025 budget continues to support all of the water smart programs, including water recycling for $4 million and desalination for $7 million. Thank you. Uh, I trust others are going to be seeking funding under these, uh, this program. Uh, another thing I'd like to ask is water recycling and reuse projects are a critical po component in water security as we move forward, especially in the Colorado River Basin. The Bureau, Basin States, tribes are engaging in ongoing communications and negotiations regarding the post-2026 operations. Until then, we are operating under the 20, 2007 interim guides and the drought contingency plan. Do you explain to the committee how the funds for the drought contingency plan are being implemented and how the discussions have been going with tribes in and along the basin? And all tribes have been concluded and active. Excuse me. The Colorado River Basin, of course, we know that it's crucial to 30 tribal nations there. We're very proud of the work that the Bureau of Reclamation has done to bring people together and to make sure that tribes um, have a voice in how we move um, these issues forward. We have fostered an, an unprecedented level of collaboration and partnership with tribes, as well as the states and Mexico in our efforts to protect the short-term stability of the system and lead efforts to stabilize it into the future. Um, this is the first time, um, Congresswoman, in history that tribes have been given a meaningful seat at the table. And I, I really am grateful to my uh, team for making sure that that has happened. Thank you for doing that. It's important to uh, note that the large scale water projects is something new in the West. And I think many more states may be looking at it for the future protection of uh, drought, and I yield back. Gentlelady yields back. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Oregon, the subcommittee chair of the Water, Wildlife, and Fisheries Subcommittee, Mr. Bentz. You're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Madam Secretary, for being